Hi, so a little backdrop, me and over the weekend, me and the wife, um, did a little photo shoot. Uh, I'm still, you know, playing with my new toy, the uh, Canon R5. So, just decided to do a little video to show you guys how I um, retouch, the extent of which I retouch. And hopefully you guys will find it useful. All right, so let's get into this video. Alan here from Lines of Studios. And in this video, we're just going to be talking about a little bit about retouching. And we're not going to be going through the entire process of retouching. I'm just going to show you guys what I typically do when I have a photo shoot um, of, say, friends and family. And I just wanted to give them something that looks good to the eye. Especially if the image looks pretty good from the get. We just, you know, might want to do a little bit of retouching. Usually just remove the bags underneath the eye and a couple of blemishes, removal, and that's it. Be careful in what you decide to remove. Not to mention that this thing is so time consuming that if you're not getting paid for um, for retouching, then I would just make sure the image looks good <laughs> straight out of camera. Unless that's a service that you really want to offer to your clients. Then in that case, you know, go for it. Pretty much all I do is I use anything from the, um, the spot healing brush, healing brush, and then the patch tool. Sometimes I use a stamp, you know, for you OGs of Photoshop, then you already know that the stamp tool go way back and that's what we started out with. And like I said, pretty much when I'm shooting friends and family, the only thing that I, I tend to remove is, is the bags underneath the eye. So what you wanna do is you wanna make a copy of your original layer. Um, in order to do that, just hold down Command and press J on the Macintosh, Control on the PC, Control J on the PC. You know, basically draw a selection over whatever blemish you wanna remove and then click and drag the sample outside of your selection and voila and naturally you would do the same thing for the other eye it's just that easy you can zoom in and you can remove whatever you deem a blemish okay same thing here now if you wanted to use say something like the healing brush or the spot healing brush then you can shift j and then select a different brush in here so if you if you click and hold down you can see all of these different brushes um, I only use for blemish removal, I only use spot, healing, and patch tool. Those are the only three I use. For the healing brush, now we can sample next to whatever we're trying to remove. Say we want to remove uh, the, this spot here. You can hold on option, click next to it, and then click on top of the blemish that you want to remove. Same thing here, click on top, and that's it, and it'll remove the blemish. For the spot, healing you just you don't have to sample the computer just does the calculations for you say we wanted to remove this dry patch here um, just click and it will move it all right so command zero get you back out zoom back out and basically it's just a matter of you just going through and just be diligent about what you're trying to remove and you'll get a better result um, this was just a quick sample here and as you can see, it's already getting better. If say this was a paid client that you did a portrait for, you would spend a little bit more time, especially since the client didn't have any makeup on. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked any of this content, please drop us a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Be safe out there, guys. Bless.